everybody and welcome to the Money Man Six Nations. Mark, last week, interesting. Uh, Eddie pretty much wrote the motivational speech for the French. I see he's, a, he's trying to do the same for Scotland again this week. Um, Wales going to Ireland should be a cracker. Um, and uh, let's get into it. Yeah, France knock over Italy. I'm sure they'll win comfortably, 15 to 20 points. So let's discard that one. They played them on Sunday in Paris. The big one for me is, is obviously Dublin. Wales going there, put back 42-0 in his opening game. Farrell got a win in his opening game. Could have been very different had Stuart Hogg not dropped that ball. Oh. Uh, very impressed with the way Wales played, but let's put it into context of the opposition. Wasn't overly impressed with Ireland. Uh, home ground advantage, something for the Irish, but I think Wales will win. Yeah, I do too, and it's not just because I'm Welsh. It's, it's the Wales looked... They did exactly what they needed to do. There was you, When you play a team like Italy, there's no... There's no upside to it. There's only a down because you never beat them by by what you should. But they they cleared the the handicap of 25 points or 26 points with, by half time. By half time, yeah. So to me, Ireland look a little bit outdated. Um, the coaching changes. Everything. I think Wales will win that game very easily. Yeah, I mean, uh, Pivac has has come in. He's added to what Gatlin's done. Yeah. Not try to take away from it. And uh, Farrell had always said that he was potentially restricted under the Joe Smith era as an assistant coach. Mm. But now that it's his game, you see him just like, it looks like a tired Joe Smith team that's out there again. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I think Wales, uh, Wales to win. A tight game, it's always tight between the two of them. And then the one that Eddie's marching up to, to Scotland, Murray Fields, given the motivational speeds. For Scotland. For Scotland, they uh, said they've got to niggle them, they've got to hit them off the ball. All this brutality talk, I don't, and that just fires teams up and takes away from a game that England was playing particularly well about 18 months ago. Well, but the only thing the English were brutal at was, was, was Colombo. Exactly. So, uh, so yeah, I, look, I said I think Eddie's best days are, are gone. He'll see out his contract in 2021. La Crunch was the big game. Sir Clive Woodward said it. Win that game, they win the tournament. Lose it, they come nowhere. And that could be the end of that Eddie Jones era. Uh, Scotland beat them the last time. Uh, in Murrayfield, and uh, and I've, I've got Scotland to win this game, three well, to five, if, very if Scott, tight. If if your prediction comes through, I think that Eddie will be will be under pressure to keep his job. Well, he's already. I read in the papers uh, late last week. He's already said to mates and to, to people. So he's put the word out there that he feels they want to marginalise him. They want to kind of work him out. And if results don't go his way, you could find by the end of the the season, there's a shake hands and let's depart and kind of let's let's move on and put someone else in place that bolts towards the next World Cup. Because his contract expires in 2021, he hasn't re-signed it, and they haven't offered him anything beyond 2021. Mm, yeah, for obvious reasons. So I had three from three. We both had three from three last week. Uh, I got the French one right, and uh, hopefully it'll be six from six. And then nice also because of the British and Irish Lions coming here in 2021. Extra interest in this year's Six Nations and next year's one because the, the best players will be here in 2021, which will be one of the great series world champions against the best of the United Kingdom and Ireland. Yeah. So I'm loving Six Nations, right? Yeah, I am too, especially, yeah, of course I am too. I don't know who's Scotland, England. Scotland looked at all, decent at times against Ireland, but Ireland's not, is not the, nearly the team. Let's go back, Ireland got hammered by, um, who did Ireland get knocked out? Oh, by the All Blacks. By the All Blacks, I mean, they got absolutely shellacked. By the yeah. And they got hammered by England uh, in the pre-World Cup game, record score. So they, they've been on a downward trend. Uh, Scotland at Murrayfield... Oh, they lost to Japan as well. Yeah. Scotland mm. at, at Murrayfield, a different, different animal to the one that plays away from home. And they have troubled England in the past. They've troubled a lot of teams there. So I, I'm hoping it's a capacity crowd at Murrayfield and they stick one more to Eddie and the English. Yeah. No, it would be nice if they can do that. Being Welsh, I love it. The Celt, so... Yeah, I, I just don't, wouldn't, I don't know how to call it, so I won't be betting on that game either. You know, I'm going to have a pretty quiet weekend of just watching and observing. All right. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Thanks, Ed.